This year, I've been wearing less makeup and focusing more on skincare. In this video, I'll be sharing my no makeup makeup routine, which is one of my current go-to looks. And of course, I'll be using makeup from affordable drugstore brands to create the look. Starting off with the brows, I'm first brushing them with a spoolie. Then I'm filling them in with eyebrow pencil. I'm just following my natural brow shape and I'm not making them too dark or too thick. Then I'm going back with a spoolie and I'll brush through the brows again. Next step is concealer. I'm skipping foundation for this look and I'm just relying on concealer for coverage on problem areas. As you can see, I'm covering up redness dark spots, and pimple scars, as well as my under eye area. Then, I'm blending with a cushion puff. As you could see, this concealer provides enough coverage and blends well on the skin without looking cakey. I also applied some on the eyelids as an eye primer. Then, to set my face, I'm using a powder foundation. But I'm only applying a light layer with a brush because I don't really need more coverage. So I'm just dusting it all over my face to set the concealer and even out my complexion. Then, to bring back some glow on the face, I'm using an illuminating powder, which is a really subtle highlighter that you could put on areas of your face that you want to brighten and bring out. For me, that is the center of the face, the tops of the cheekbones, the cupid's bow, the brow bone, and the eyelids. I'm also adding back some dimension to the face by applying a neutral bronzer or contour powder. I'm not sculpting my face by creating sharp contour lines. Instead, I'm applying a light layer of the bronzer on the natural shadows of the face and on the eyelid crease area. For blush, I'm using the lightest and most natural looking blush in my collection. This is the same blush I used in my first no makeup makeup look. I 
hope you check that one out as well. For the eyelids, I'll use the bronzer as a crease color. Then, I'm applying the warm tone shade from the Illuminating Palette on my upper and lower lids. Then, I'll apply the lightest shade on the inner corners. For me, it's very important that I curl my lashes for every look I do. After curling my lashes, I'll apply a skinny mascara on my upper and lower lashes. I like this type of mascara because I can get separation and lengthening without my lashes getting clumpy. And to finish the eye look, I'm applying brown eyeliner on the tight line, just to fill the gap between the lashes. And of course, the last step is lipstick. I'm applying a neutral shade on the lips. For the no makeup makeup look, you'd want to go for a my lips but better shade. Of course, that depends on your natural lip color. So what do you guys think of this look? Are you a fan of the no makeup makeup look? Or do you think it's just a waste of time? I personally like it because it's simple, it's quick, I don't use a lot of products and tools, but the end look is always amazing. As always, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!